Hello and welcome to my channel. How many times have I been asked this question? How can I compare two lists of data? Well, I've been around lots of companies and I see lots of different ways that people have been doing it. And I've got a much, much easier way. I've noticed that some use VLOOKUPs, but that's quite difficult to use, believe it or not. And it doesn't check it both ways. Quite often I see somebody checking a list against their list, but it could be that there's things missing on the list they're checking compared with theirs, or there's things missing on theirs compared with the one they're checking. So, you know, I've come up with a way to compare both lists. You can do them separately and it will list all the items that are missing on your list compared with another list. And then you can do it the other way around, compare all the items on another list to see which ones are missing from your list. And this is an excellent method. It's really fairly straightforward. If you just follow my instructions in a moment and I'll be using the filter function, I'll be using a count if function, I'll be using an if error function, and I'll be using a sort function. So putting these together enables you to really check your list really easy. And rather than using things like conditional formatting or using VLOOKUPs, this really does do a really good job of comparing the two lists. Hopefully you'll enjoy this and pick something up from it. So let's just crack on with it and show you how to put these functions together. Okay, as I've just mentioned, we've got two lists that we want to compare. One of the big issues that I mentioned earlier was that it's all well and good checking a list against another list, but you always need to check back the other way because it might be that one list has names or records missing compared with the other and vice versa. So always do it both ways and don't just do it one way. A lot of people try to use VLOOKUPs and that's okay one way, but this method is much, much easier if you can follow through. So here I've got two lists. I've called one list my list and another list called colleague list. What I want to do to make this easier when we're putting in the formulas and functions is to turn these two lists into tables and they're going to be named tables. So make sure you're in your list, hold control down and press T for table. My table has headers, which is fine. Click OK. And that's now a table. At the top, this is called table seven. So I'm going to name this one my list. I'm going to do this with no spaces and always press enter when you've named a table. So when I want to refer to this table, it's called my list. Now over here on the colleague list, I'm going to turn this into a table as well. So control T and OK. And I'm just going to change the color of this one to let's say green so we can tell the difference and Rather than this being called table eight, I'm going to call it colleague list with no space. So I've named that up there. So now when I want to refer to this one. So we're going to do this in stages. We're going to start off with the filter function. Now both lists are virtually the same. And what I've done is I've mixed them up, so I've got one alphabetical by last name, one alphabetical by first name, which messes all these ID numbers up. This is to make the task seem much more difficult to find where records are missing. But with this method, it's absolutely brilliant. So let's start off by over here. I'm just going to go into G3, so I've got a a space if I want headings at the top. We're going to start off 
with equals filter and open bracket. What I want filtered is my colleagues list. I want that brought across over to here, but only with the ones that I've got missing. So I called that, and the good thing with naming is you don't have to go to that sheet and highlight it. I can call that by its name, so colleague. And as you start typing it, can you see that that's now appeared? So if I press tab, which finishes typing it. So that's the colleague list, which refers to that table. And you put a comma. And what I want to do is I want to include all of those records that are missing. So to do this, I'm going to count. So we're going to use the count if. So type count if an open bracket. And the range I want to count is my records. I want to compare with the records of my colleague. So the way to do this is type my list and you'll see it pop up because I've named it. So I can press tab to finish typing it. But I only want to refer to that ID number on my list. So if you open a square bracket, and type the heading name in this case it's id and you can see it pops up underneath anyway id then close the square bracket so now that refers to all of my ids down there and you can see a slight blue line around all the ids then you put a comma and i want to compare it so this is the criteria with my colleagues list so if i start typing the name of the table that's over there and there it is I can see it just there and again I want to compare it with the ID that's over on the other page so if I put open square bracket I and as soon as you do the I it pops up and then you can close the square bracket so that's what I'm comparing I'm comparing my ID numbers with my colleagues ID numbers over on that other page now what I, because I'm counting and that's a count if I need to close the bracket for that count if but what I want is I only want to list the ones that are zero so if I put equal zero so that will include all the ones from my colleague list because that's the one we're looking at that equals zero when you're counting against my list so I'm just going to close the bracket now and when you press enter there's the list from my colleagues list that I haven't got now to make things easier we're going to sort this as well by these ID numbers so if you just go back to that first one I'm just going to press F2 so I can edit it and if you click between the equals and the filter and type sort and open bracket and the sort function asks for an array well that filter is the array so I'm just going to go to click to the end of it and put a comma and then I want to make sure the sort index is on that first column so I'll just put a number one and if I wanted the sort order in descending, then I would use the next argument, that sort order. But by default, it would sort from smallest to largest. So I'm just going to close the bracket, press enter. And now I've got all the records that are missing from my list from my colleagues list. So to help you, we're going to do this the opposite way round now so let's go to the colleague list and find if my colleague has got any missing from my list so again I'm clicking into G3 just there equals and we can do the sort if we want straight away this time so sort open bracket the array for this sort will be the filter function so we type filter open bracket and what we want to filter is 
everything from my list this time so I named that my list to make it easy so when you start typing it it pops up underneath press tab so I'm going to pull everything from my list then we put a comma and I want to include everything that is missing from the colleagues list so first of all we're going to put the count if so we can count all those that are missing count if open bracket and the range would be first of all looking at the colleagues list so let's type colleague and there it is it pops up but it's the ID number we're looking at so open square bracket ID close square bracket and then a comma and then the criteria is everything that's missing from my list so if I type my list there it is it pops up press tab and then open bracket and put ID and close square bracket so that's now comparing my colleagues list with my list close the bracket for that count if but we only want to include the ones where it's zero in other words there's missing records so I put equal zero close the bracket for that but this time we've got to close the bracket for the sort function so close that last bracket press enter and now there's a list here sorted automatically for all the records that are missing in my colleagues list from my list so just to prove this works and it's dynamic because we've made it into a table so let's have a look at my list so these ones on my list are missing I've got these missing from my colleagues list so what I want to do now is put some of these records into mine just to show you how dynamic this is so let's copy these records here so I'm going to copy from 449 down so control C and then let's go to the bottom of this table it's a long way down just click into there and we need to make sure that we're pasting just the records so let's go to the paste at the top and we're just putting the values only so click that one and that's extended the table and let's go to the top and you'll see that these ones are now missing because it's dynamically reading all the ones that I've got missing so it's as easy as copying and pasting you don't need to cut and paste just copy and paste and this adjusts itself as records go missing so if I highlight the rest of it control C let's go right to the bottom and then paste values only let's go back to the top and you'll see now that this has no records here so we've got one more thing to add what we'll do we'll just put our cursor between the equals and the sort and we want to put an if error if error open bracket and then go to the end of your function and put a comma and the value we want if that error comes up is any comment you want really I'm going to put all okay nothing missing so make sure that's in speech marks and then close the bracket and press enter and you'll see that it now says all okay nothing missing so let's remove one of the records we we'll do this near the top let's remove this record here for example so just completely delete it out and you'll see the one I've deleted out now appears across there let's delete another few out I'm just doing control minus here and you'll see that as I delete them out of my record it's showing me which ones are missing over on the right hand side so let's go and do that again with the colleague list so here we've got the list over here of all those that are missing and these are the ones missing from my list so we're going to just click between the equals and the sort and we'll put an if error 
if error open bracket go and click to the end put a comma and then in speech marks all okay nothing missing close the speech marks close the bracket and press enter okay so now what we can do is take all these records that are missing in the colleague list so these are in my list but not the colleague list do a control C and then we go to the bottom and we need to paste them in as values only and let's go to the top and you'll see that all is okay nothing missing let's just do what we did before let's delete a few records let's highlight these records control minus and as I delete them on the left hand side they appear on the right hand side so now it's much easier to find records that are missing and comparing two lists much easier than VLOOKUPs much easier than using conditional formatting it just appears there and the ones that are missing you can copy and pasting as values down the bottom and you're good to go well hopefully you enjoyed that and you've gained something from it we always say use it or lose it so practice makes perfect have a go at that and compare your two lists if you haven't got lists to compare at the moment just start with a couple of small lists maybe a you know a list of about 10 names maybe to compare with another list and just make sure this works it's a brilliant function a brilliant way of nesting functions together and getting your result anyway if you enjoyed this video please give me the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so that you don't miss future videos and i look forward to seeing you in my next video